The world's largest cruise ship, Icon of the Seas, is days away from its maiden voyage. It's been described as a floating city and is almost as long as the Empire State Building is tall. CBS's Chris Van Cleve got exclusive access to a test cruise and provided this iconic preview. Welcome aboard Icon of the Seas, a $2 billion floating resort. At nearly 1,200 feet long, it's the world's largest cruise ship. Its 20 decks have room for up to 7,600 passengers who can enjoy seven pools, theaters, a casino, and more than 40 places to eat and drink. Include the crew, and you're at nearly 10,000 people. And we didn't seek to build the world's biggest. That growth purely came organically through the experiences that we wanted to create. The average stateroom for a seven-day Caribbean cruise costs about $3,500 for two people. But a hundred grand gets this ultimate family townhouse. It took my breath away. Kevin Curran will be on Icon's inaugural cruise. It's just the massiveness of it is, is the draw. Post-pandemic, cruising is surging in popularity. A record 36 million passengers are expected in 2024. With a ship this size, health and safety pose new challenges. What do you guys do differently today than what you were doing before? This ship has the largest medical center we've ever built on a ship before. We've created new protocols coming out of the pandemic to handle health and safety issues of all sorts. We've been very careful about the flow of fresh air throughout our vessels. If you're in your stateroom, you're breathing only your own air. The cruise industry as a whole is under scrutiny for pollution. A 2021 report found a large cruise ship can have a carbon footprint greater than 12,000 cars. But Royal Caribbean says Icon is greener than its predecessors, running on natural gas, treating its own waste, and making its own water. It's also got a lot of things to try. <laughs> like the first onboard water park with six water slides. Oh, this was a bad idea. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, The Bahamas.